beaches, proximity to the beaches. What's good about Rhode Island is food and the beaches and that is pretty much, it's all we got here and it's a beautiful thing, simple life. Everything is close. You don't have to go far for anything. And we have everything. We have the ocean and <laughs> history. So you can get it all in one small place. So when you think about Rhode Island, you get a warm, fuzzy feeling. Most of the time, except for politics, of course. Uh, well, politics is always in trouble in this state, aren't they? Financially, we're in trouble. Yeah. I think uh, somewhere along the line they should have split Rhode Island down Narragansett Bay and uh, part of it should have belonged to Connecticut and part to Massachusetts because politicians here don't seem to be able to get government and the economy right. I come from Federal Hill. Gambling was poisoned then and it's gambling now. It's poisoned. Sooner or later that's going to run out as a source of money. Then where they're going to go. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Maybe they're gamblers. Uh, I actually don't live here anymore. I live in um, Texas and West Virginia. I work in the oil field. I love coming back here. I love the ocean. I love the food. I love um, the architectures, the buildings, and we just got a lot here. And I don't think you know people really know how beautiful and great it is here. Um, uh, I just think everybody should travel around the country, spend some time out of Rhode Island, and then you'll miss it. You will. What I love about it is whenever you go someplace, you see someone that you know. Someone from high school, someone from college, someone on the street that you grew up on. Wherever you go, you will see someone. And I think that gives you a good sense of community. I, mean, I, I, I love it, but I can't, can't, can't pin down why. I don't know, we'll just kind of look around. Beautiful skies, sunshine, fresh air, clean. All of those reasons. Well, this is my best place, but uh, everything is crooked. Nothing is straight anymore. The, anymore, the yeah. The politicians don't do anything for you. They're around only when they want to vote. And that's it, that's the end of it. I love how Rhode Island is so small and it keeps people connected, like we're not so strung out like other cities are where people aren't so social amongst other people, like just how you guys come up to me and I, I, don't, I feel comfortable with you guys, you know, asking questions, it's not a big deal. If I have to say what I like about Rhode Island, I would say, uh... Wayland Square Dine is the best breakfast in the world. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> That's... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I was saying. Seriously. Small diners and, uh, yeah, the small town, like he said, and easy communication. Also that Rhode Island was one of the first free states to openly uh, express your opinion and your religion and um, so that's why I love Rhode Island <laughs> and uh, yeah great food <laughs> great people oh, I just love being here I raised my children here I love the schools and I love the neighborhood on the east side this is where I live is there anything you'd like to add I love the restaurants too <laughs> I should have said I love your pet no, store. No, 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 that's not, to that is totally unnecessary. But I should have. I you tell me thinking. you love my pet store by coming to my I store. I very on the spot. No, don't worry about should it. Should I leave now? No, no, no. Sit, Tucker, sit. Tucker, sit. Tucker, sit. Oh, he's cute, though. Yeah, he's very cute, though. Yeah. Just the incredible physical beauty of Rhode Island, um, and the, the and the availability of so much here, because there's such a thriving art scene here. W you know, well out of line with what you would expect of a of a city with 178,000 people. You wouldn't expect there to be this much to make people want to live here, and there is. It was a nice place it's to live. It's the nicest, beautiful it's shoreline that 99% yes. of the states in this country have. But they're starting to spoil it now because they're charging you. They want money and the parking is going to go even up again this year. And they're taking it away from us. I come from Shawmut Beach. Do you know where that is? Connecticut. You know where that is? Warwick. You don't know. Beautiful. I live, I was born right on the shore. Beautiful. Don't go there no more now. Can't even park. A small place and you can easy. Uh, there is no crowd, I mean. Okay. But I don't like about it. <laughs> about Cranston. Um, 
I mean about Rhode Island, uh, there is no gap. Yeah. That's a big one. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to get job. It's a nice state. It's a nice place to live in. But you got to have the money today to live here. It's, it's really expensive. I don't know how some people do it. Just how close everything is, really. Pretty much it. Yeah. I like it. I like it here. I lo what I love about Rhode Island is what? The way it was Well, we the up. way it was because of the, the population wasn't too big and people paid attention to each other more. We had a little more neighborhoods. Now they spread out too far. I would say that uh, it could, if, if it were to go back 25 or 30 years, we'd be in beautiful shape. I wish you'd print something about that. Can we get your name? Yeah, the well, Yeah, Frank Sinatra. <laughs>